It's a good day to be a Bitcoiner, and the reason for that is because of the ETF data and obviously some on-chain stuff that we'll get to in a minute. We'll also do some TA, all right? So stick around, like the video. Let's get in with it, on with it. Let's get on with this, right? So we can see that we do have, on Friday, $400 million coming in, okay? On the far right-hand side of your screen. I'm not going to zoom in, all right? You can see it. It's right there, all right? But we can see here, yes, uh, last week was absolutely ballistic in terms of inflows. And when you have inflows and you have hundreds of millions of dollars buying Bitcoin, okay, and people accumulating Bitcoin, institutions banging it in, expecting big, big bull market, all-time high price discovery, just awesomeness, all right? Uh, it's a great sign. It's a bullish sign for Bitcoin. And even if we look in the past month, Okay, uh, in the last week or so, we saw 18 billion come in with a B, okay? Uh, and then this month, we've seen 22 billion in total, okay? That's, that's, all, that's the video. See you later. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. We're, let's take a look at some other stuff because it's not all sunshine and rainbows. We are seeing the Bitcoin uh, macro Caproli index, which does measure the on-chain uh, actually. Sh and obviously, this is 60 of the most powerful Bitcoin on-chain macro market metrics combined into a single learning Bitcoin algorithm, blah, 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 blah. Basically, when it's green, it's good. Okay. Last week, we got an orange tick. I know, not great. But we did say last week that we are looking for for uh, the all-time high break more than anything before absolutely smashing it in and making copious amounts of cash, okay? So if we are looking at this, yes, not fantastic, but not the end of the world. And I'm going to explain why, because if we look at what the miners are doing, okay, if we look at what the miners are doing right now, we can see this is the electricity consumption index. This is how much the miners are spending on electricity to mine Bitcoin. And when this thing spikes, price spikes just phenomenally as well. We're just, we're, we've just seen a spike here. We've just seen a massive spike, okay, uh, in the past month. This is fantastic, and this is something that is, is bullish, okay? It's very bullish indeed. Uh, so we will see that potentially the bull market starts within the next couple months. Obviously, we have the uh, Spinection, okay? You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to get um, shadow banned here, but <laughs> we have the, uh, the thing that's happening next month, which is going to be a very, very critical point for the world, a critical point for the markets, more importantly, well, not more importantly, but you get my point, okay? So it's a critical point for the markets. And uh, we can see here that, uh, yes, that's something that's bullish, okay? The miners are actually backing one side there. And I think, you know, which side we're looking at, okay? The bullish side. Um, if we are looking at the general market here, okay, we can see bit of a mixed bag, but bullish overall. Good stuff. I'm not really liking the crypto bubbles at the moment. It's just too many meme coins on here, okay? I want to see good utility projects, like AI projects on here. But, uh, oh, we are seeing a uh, tie on here as well. Oh, no, that's that's not uh, that's not the, the tie I want. <laughs> it's not the tie I want. Uh, we need to wait for the other tie to come on here. But, um, yeah, interesting stuff here across the board. We will say fear and greed at 72 as well. So, uh, I would say pretty high, 72. Uh, and if we are going to look at investment here, guys, I will just say that... Uh, be careful, okay? We can still dump. It's not it's not over yet, okay? We're not out of the woods, as every crypto influencer says, but it's true, okay? Oh, hello, headphones. Uh, yeah, we are we are in a predicament right now where we do have this major event, the start of next month, okay? Wait for that event. We might run up before that event, okay? But until that event is over, just be very careful, okay? I'm only going to say this once, all right? Be careful, because if you get in along... And then the results don't go the way you think because uh, apparently it's 50-50, okay? Then, uh, yes, it means somebody cheated and it means that the markets will probably absolutely smash it down into the abyss. And then after that, we should be expecting the recovery V-shape, just a ballistic um, green candles towards the moon, right? Uh, but, yeah, my plan still hasn't changed here. Changed here. We break all-time high. We break this bull market barrier, which you guys know if we break over this bull market barrier, it's a very, very bullish sign, okay? So we're going to be looking to do that again. If we can do that again, basically the bull market's back on and we bang it up for 20%. If you've got 100K, you're just looking for that 20%, you want to make 20 20K in a month, okay? That that's when you do it, okay? Not financial advice, of course, but that's when you do it, okay? After the election, though, all right? After the election. If we bang it up here first before the election, we can still dump down to 50K, okay? Just be just be careful. Just be careful is, is my main point here. But what we will say is on-chain, still looking pretty good. We are seeing these moving averages actually head away from each other in a very 
positive bullish sign here. Okay, I just realized that my uh, my dates aren't here. Let's see if I can get that lined up. Beautiful stuff. Okay, if you are looking for an exchange, buy a bit. Okay, that's KYC. So if you, if you don't want a KYC exchange, you just want to connect your wallet. Apex, right? Sister company to buy a bit. They've got liquidity. They're super, super good. Okay. And uh, they're what I'm using as my main exchange at the moment, right? Because no KYC. <laughs> Amazing, right? But anyway, if we get over this trend line, fantastic stuff. Okay. There may be a little trade here. There may be a little trade on the way up. Just be aware. Okay. Black Swan territory right now. Okay. Serious, serious Black Swan territory. So uh, we have to be careful with this, but there might be a little 5% trade towards the sky there. Okay. If we are going to put a pattern on this, all right, we're going to put a little pattern, a pattern pending pattern. We can see that uh, we do have a wedge structure. Okay. And with that wedge structure, I mean, I'd probably go from here actually. Uh, and let's just see what the wave would entail. If I can grab this, there we go. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much what we're aiming for just off the, off the bat with our eyes anyway. So yeah, that's probably the, the best trade to be looking for here in the, in the immediate term. If we do want to pump up over the next week or so, okay. 70, 71, two up to about 75. Uh, besides that, I would be very, very careful in this area. We are on the trend line. It does look pretty bullish. I'm not going to lie. We, we, we are bouncing. We're making higher lows. All right. So it does look pretty bullish, but we're still kind of teeter al teetering along this trend line, right? So until we get over that and we clear above it, uh, I would be very careful here. Okay. We're looking at the good old fashioned four hour. Okay. We are just bouncing between these 15 minute volume weighted ATR bands. We did say around these weeks, right? The most profitable strategy is a grid bot here, okay? We expect sideways. We expect a lot of volatility, a lot of indecisiveness across the market, okay? And we are seeing here that that has come into fruition quite a lot here, okay? Quite quite successfully, I would say. Uh, so I'm, I'm making money on the on the grid bots, all right? I hope you guys are too. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are. But uh, besides that, I would say four hour, actually looking okay, looking pretty bullish, looking pretty positive. No serious lower lows coming through here. Obviously, this would go down as a lower low, but uh, after this dump we had last week, it, ha it has been fairly progressive, okay? So we'll see how this does continue to progress. Um, and in terms of liquidation levels, expect a lot of vol volatility around 70k, obviously, okay? Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, 65.2 will be an area where we could potentially bounce from, okay? But uh, yeah, if we do start crashing, 61k is going to be that next liquidation le level where the market makers will be making the most money. So all this is, is where are the market makers going to make the most money? Okay, use our common sense to say, all right, they probably will bring it to one of these levels to make that money. <laughs> so we should target those levels, right? Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that one. But after we get over this zone, then yes, we are still targeting that uh, that little trade here from about 71.2 uh, upwards, right? So if we're looking at this 71.2, yes, we do have this beautiful blue lines here. So if we can get up to this level, I would expect some volatility around this level, of course. But after that, uh, yes, break the high. We can basically ride that up to this next zone here, which does align perfectly with the measure move uh, up to about 75. Okay, so good stuff there. The TA is looking aligned. Okay, planets are aligned here for a nice move towards the sky here. A potential little 5% trade coming through here on the swings. Uh, besides that, we are in, in, in the middle of the woods, okay? So let's just chill, let it consolidate, let it be volatile, make money on your grid bots. And then, yes, if we do want to head in a direction from that point, we do have trade setups ready, okay? Uh, we'll be updating you guys in the Patreon after this as well with some paid setups for altcoins, right? Um, and there will be a free Bitcoin setup, just highlighting my trades a little bit more, right? But besides that, yes, we've had a bit of a pump up here. Uh, I would say pullback is necessary potentially here. Test this moving average one more time on the hourly. But besides that, yeah, I mean, we're chilling right now. We're chilling right now, we're waiting for these results to come through. And uh, if they're bullish, they're bullish, all right? If he dies, he dies. I think my computer just completely freaked out. Hopefully I'm still recording. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Have a fantastic day. Drop a like on there. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you're doing. And um, if you could share it, that would be that would be amazing, dude. If you could share that, 